Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Electon TV For today troubleshooting video guys is about electro hydraulic bulbs and this bulb guys is used for fuel tank of the ship and some other of this is used for ballasting and uh, deballasting of the ships and so many of this in my ship and the trouble of this guys is we cannot open by remote that's why now we open by manual to open in manual it's uh, easy and uh, it's like ordinary bulb just turn counterclockwise to open and clockwise to close but in a remote we have a hydraulic system this is the hydraulic fluid tank and we have electric motor pump we have a linear actuator or a cylinder hydraulic cylinder this and in hydraulic always we have a directional bulb this one this one also is uh, we cannot open we have three bulbs that have a problem all of that is we cannot open by remote also this one we cannot open by remote port save <laughs> port save now guys I'm here in a pipe tunnel of the ship okay, before I start to explain what is the trouble of these bulbs I explain how it works and I consult first the manual because it's my first time to encounter this kind of electrohydraulic bulb okay now guys I'm hearing this uh, control panel of all of the electrohydraulic bulb and this is the switch for remote for open and close the red one is for close and the green one is for open and that's our trouble this tree for the fuel tank port side center and I starboard all of this is not uh, working properly this one that uh, we open manually we cannot close by a uh, remote you need to close manually before you operate by remote and here is the pledger control module Later on in the manual, I explain uh, how it works. So all of this guys is a remote control for the bulb. So now guys, this is the manual for pleasure <coughs> electro hydraulic system ballast fuel remote bulbs. And in this manual, guys, is a. Uh, so many types or kind of the electro hydraulic bulbs different model and uh, they install 
it depends on the position or the location of the bulbs Here is the line diagram of a uh, hydraulic system. Okay, this is the model that we need to fix. But uh, I explain first the electrical side and later the hydraulic system. Okay, now guys, this is the electrical diagram fuel oil system, and here is the control module. CM3 and we have a uh, 24 volts and 220 input and output for this module how it works is like this guys we have the push buttons here for open and close and if you press the button open they give the 24 volts input on the module and the module give the output 220 volts for the motor pump of the hydraulic and also 24 volts for the solenoid coil to open the hydraulic directional bulb after that the linear actuator or the cylinder start to move in open position after that they give the feedback signal to the module and the module on the open indicator signal light and here is the same module same how it work and here guys is a uh, going to the electrohydraulic bulb this is the motor and uh, solenoid bulb and uh, supply 24 volts going to the solenoid bulb and to 20 volts for the motor pump and in the right side feedback going back to the module Okay, and that's how the electrical system work. And now, I explain how this hydraulic system work. Now, here is the hydraulic line diagram. And I start explain how the system work for the opening opening when giving the control impulse open for the electric motor to 30 volts AC the pump will supply the hydraulic fluid to the linear actuator thus opening the bulb when reaching the end position open the limit switch will turn off the motor the solenoid bulb B will remain under electric power thus holding the actuator hydraulically without leak oil in the position open the end position feedback will be transmitted from the electric feedback until to the CM controller and that's for the opening sequence guys and now let's go for the closing sequence 
Okay guys, uh, for closing, for example, you already press the red button for the closing of the valve. After the electric power for the solenoid valve B has been switched off, the position of the solenoid valve will uh, change. The linear actuator will start closing by spring force. The oil from the linear actuator through the solenoid bulb back to the tank reaching the close position the position feedback will be given through the contact to the CM controller and the bulb guys was already close and that's uh, how it's work guys now I'm here in the pipe tunnel and here is the solenoid bulb B and this is the motor based in the manual if you open the bulb this solenoid bulb is have a power supply and the fluid will flow to the linear actuator now I need to test if this bulb was have supply and twenty four volts DC terminal one and oh no no two and three I already pressed the button for the open position guys there's no voltage came from the module controller and the solenoid bulb did not activate or uh, based on the line diagram did not uh, change position to close the line the line going back to the tank and the reason that's why did not open this uh, linear actuator or did not move this linear actuator okay guys now I check the manual and that's the line going to the solenoid bulb base here we have the ciliary contact going to the solenoid bulb and we have the here fuse number 36F2 we have two fuse maybe that's the reason that's why they uh, don't have the supply going to the solenoid bulb and all the solenoid bulb the supply is uh, came from that uh, fuse now I uh, check the fuse guys here I uh, already found 36F1 and F2 look guys uh, it's a uh, busted okay guys I already removed and I need to replace and I think that's the reason that's why the bulb did not activate 
that's why the electrohydraulic bulb did not control or open by remote and now guys uh, we test the hydraulic bulb if uh, working in normal now they start the actuator to move and the bulb start to open this one is the lock for the manual mode or manual procedure we add some uh, hydraulic oil and I test the voltage supply for the solenoid bulb we have 25 volts DC and now we already open and uh, we start to test for closing and look the power supply was off and then the oil start to return to tank and the actuator start to move back and close the bulb now the bulb was already closed and the system is uh, working normal and now we start to open again the motor start running the linear actuator start to move okay this one you need to put back in that position Okay, the linear actuator is in uh, open position. We try to test to close again. And the oil start to turn back to the tank. The actuator start to move to close the bulb. okay now it's close again and i think it's a uh, good and already fix and another one guys uh, we try to test to open and the problem the motor did not run that's why the bulb did not uh, open After I try to check the supply voltage going to the motor, I found out that the module controller did not give 220 volt supply to the motor pump. And I think that's the reason that's why the electrohydraulic bulb uh, did not open because the pump does not run did not pump the oil and uh, here guys I have a new spare and uh, I decided to replace I think the controller module is uh, defective this one is new to remove and replace this one now I already removed the old one this one is the old I just copy the deep switch setting
that's the one I uh, install. Okay now guys, uh, I'm here again to test. We need to close the starboard side first before we test this one, the center tank. Okay, this is the motor. We need to test if the motor have a 220 volt supply came from the module controller. And now I have fully close manually before we start to operate in remote. Now it's uh, okay and uh, enough. Okay guys, now I try to check the supply for the electric motor pump. But we need to close this first before we test the another one. Okay. Now it's uh, already close the starboard and start to test the center. Okay guys, look the voltage. We have a 225 AC voltage supply for the electric motor pump. And the actuator start to move to open position. And I think now with the problem solved for the center electrohydraulic bulb okay uh, close naman close okay test again for close now start to close okay lads uh, open mo ulit lads lads testing okay already close now Start to test again for open. Okay, voltage 220, motor run, start pump. Now the actuator is already in open position. Check for the solenoid bulb. We have DC supply steady. 25 volts okay problem solved okay mar uh, close close muna close muna okay now the voltage was uh, off and the actuator start to move to close position okay that's it and also this one guys this one is not working also I fully close manually first before we test on a remote. Okay, that's it. The oil level of this tank is too low. The minimum is at least in the middle. If close position, 
the oil was in the red line here Okay guys, now I uh, already finished peeling and let's start to test. We need to check the supply for the motor first. Maybe the same problem on the center. That's why I did not open in uh, remote. Okay now guys the motor start to run and there's no problem in the supply and look at this guys that's the reason we have the leak on the linear actuator it's a mechanical problem and the reason of this the o-ring was uh, damaged inside And this trouble, guys, is uh, we cannot fix for now because we need the tank to be empty before we remove this linear actuator. Okay, guys, now I'm here on the control panel and let's test again starboard is open center is closed and the port side is closed also this one is not uh, we cannot fix I press the red for close wait for the signal light to steady Okay, the bulb now is closed guys. Center. Testing, open. Okay guys, now it's already open. Close again first. Okay. Open again the starboard. Okay guys, finish. That's it for today. Maybe in my next vlog, I make the video for this uh, port side actuator that have a uh, leak. Okay. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you learned something in this uh, video. And please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Electron TV. And I'll uh, see you in my next vlog.